everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in the past I have mentioned on the channel that I enjoy dabbling in miniatures games. In fact, at the time of this recording, very recently we covered Star Wars Legion on the channel, but outside of the videos, in my own time, when I can fit into my schedule, this is a style of game I enjoy playing. Now the one thing I have trouble fitting into the schedule though, is actually creating all of the terrain that you need to fill up a table when you want to play one of these games. And so I'm always on the lookout for quick, easy solutions, and I've talked about some of these on the channel before. But recently, in 2017, at the Eschenspiel Fair, I came across this company that was selling product called GameMat.eu, and I thought, wow, this terrain looks fantastic, but <laughs> I'm sure it's going to require all kinds of assembly and painting to make it look good. So I almost left, but then I was talking to the owner and realized, no, no, wait a second, all of this comes exactly as is, pre-painted, pre-assembled, you just pop it on the table and play, and I thought, okay, well this, <laughs> this is more my speed. So I, I went home, I didn't have enough room in my luggage to take a lot back. I took a little sample, and I tried it out, I thought, wow, no, this is really, really good. And I contacted the owner of the company, and I said, look, I'd like to order a bunch more of this stuff. Would you consider giving me a discount, and I'd be happy to show it on the channel here, show it to some of my viewers who might also be interested, and he agreed to that. So just know, in case you're concerned about any biases that I might have, I did receive a discount on the orders that I placed. But no, yes, I definitely have a massive bias towards this product. I think it's really, really good. And my hope is here at the end of this video, I'll have shown you such a clear and unfiltered look at it that uh, whatever my biases might be, you'll have a pretty good sense of what this product is and whether or not it would be a good fit for you. I wanted to start by giving you a look at one of their game mats. And these come in a variety of different sizes. This is one of the smaller three foot by three foot mats. But it's perfect for a game like Frostgrave from Osprey Publishing. This is a skirmish scale game, so this size is perfect for that. But they also have larger sizes that we can look at a little bit later. This particular game takes place in kind of a frozen wasteland, and that's why I picked up this mat. that has kind of a frozen landscape to it with a little bit of cobblestone showing underneath. I should also mention that each of their mats come with a bag like this that you can roll it up and store it in for easy transportation. But next, let's take a look at how you can add some different 3D elements from their line to this mat to start bringing it to life. The first bit of terrain I bought from them at Essen and brought home with me were these gothic walls. And again, everything that you're seeing here, well, except for the miniatures, of course, is shipped exactly as you're seeing, all painted and all ready to go. To give you a sense of the scale, the models I'm using here are 28 millimeter, and you can see these walls provide cover or spaces for the models to peek out of and fire a weapon or cast a spell. Now to go with those walls, I wanted a little something more on the table, so I picked up the Medieval Houses set, which includes not just the buildings here, but also all of the other additional accessories you're now seeing on the table, like those barrels, bundles, crates, there's a well here, and a statue, and again, not to repeat myself, but everything came exactly as you see it. I particularly like the barrels and crates, because if you're playing a miniatures game that has objectives you need to go around and collect, or stand beside, well these can act as a perfect substitute for that, and they'll blend seamlessly into the scenery that you've created. Now with everything put on the table, you can see that these new pieces don't just add more blocking terrain, but the scene is really starting to come alive. This looks like a lived-in area. And I should mention that when these pieces arrived, they came in molded styrofoam, so everything was very well protected. There was no risk of paint getting chipped, or pieces banging against each other and getting damaged. Frankly, we've probably got enough terrain for this mat, but I went ahead and picked up this medieval castle set as well for even more height surrounding my setting. So now it looks like we have a village among some castle walls. So if you have a game that requires a lot of densely packed terrain, like Frostgrave does, then this is one way to easily fill that space. I've been focusing on highlighting the value of these components for your miniatures games, but it probably goes without saying that this would also make a pretty fantastic role-playing table as well. But let's just say for a moment you need something bigger. Maybe you're playing a game that takes place on a more traditional six foot by four foot space. In those situations, you're gonna to wanna to have a playmat that size like I have here. And if you're somebody who enjoys having different styles of playmats to use, but you don't wanna to have to store multiple playmats, you might want one of these double-sided ones that has a different design on each of the sides. And I should point out, the table I'm using here is just a little shy of six feet by four feet, so the playmat will go a little over the edge on one of the sides, but you'll get the general idea. 
For this surface, I've placed all the terrain that we had before, along with this Gothic temple, which you can pick up separately, and I'm using here as a centerpiece. If you're playing a larger scale miniatures game, say like Age of Sigmar, then spreading out the terrain like we've done here makes more sense, and as you can see, it nicely fills up the surface. In addition to their buildings, they also have some more natural looking elements, like their highland set here, which is all of these large rocks, in addition to these small ones as well that come with it that I've kind of scattered throughout the terrain here. So you might imagine that you've got a castle that was built, you know, next to a mountain, which would be a good sort of defensive structure. And over time, people have carved out around the mountain in the rock area here, and they've, they've built their homes. But what they didn't realize is there's going to be an invading force come through over here and attack. So you can really just kind of let your imagination go wild here as you're setting up the table when you have this kind of variety. Again, I know I've said it already, but this is exactly how the product comes, and that's why I feel so comfortable showing it to you and really just kind of gushing unabashedly about it, because what you see is what you get. I, I really can't overhype it to you, it just, it is what it is. Now you might be thinking, well this is lovely and all, but what about a sci-fi setup for something like Warhammer 40k or Star Wars Legion? Well we can look at some options for that too. Here I'm using another six foot by four foot mat, but this time with their fallout zone print. And on top of that, their modern warfare set, which is all of these bunkers and walls, along with their badland set, which are all these really unique rock formations that are scattered throughout. It's also worth mentioning that these pieces have some weight to them. They don't feel light or flimsy. They're resin, and as you can hopefully tell from the video, they're very well crafted. There are, of course, cheaper ways to create terrain. This is certainly a luxury item, but I'm confident for some of you this will be exactly what you're looking for in a quick, easy to use, high quality terrain solution for your gaming table. I should mention there are also other designs beyond what I've shown you here in this video. I'll direct you to the gamemat.eu website, which I'll put a link to in the description below if you'd like to check those out. But otherwise, if you have any questions at all about anything you saw here, I'd be very happy to answer your questions in the comments below if I can be of help. But otherwise, until the next episode, thanks for watching.